In section 11.4, we'll be focusing on finding the area of kites and related figures. Please keep in mind that the directions for this section are the same as the previous sections, meaning that when you solve a problem, you have to write the original formula, show the substitution, and write your final answer with units squared at the end. Instead of just giving you the formula to find the area of a kite, we're going to prove it using some prior knowledge. Let's look at our kite and think about what it's made up of. Can we find some shapes in which we already know how to find the area of? We have some triangles. So we have this yellow triangle here, DAB, and we have this orange-red triangle here, DCB. Keep in mind that when the diagonals of a kite cross, they're perpendicular to each other. So that conveniently gives us our heights or altitudes within the triangles. So we know that the area of the kite can be found by taking the area of triangle DAB, which can be found by doing one half of our base, DB, times our height, AX, and adding that to the area of triangle DCB, which can be found by taking one half of our base, which is DB, times our height, which is XC. Similarly to what we've done in the past, we can factor out a one half DB from each of the expressions which leaves us with one-half db times the quantity of ax plus xc. Well, let's look at our diagram. If we combine segments ax and xc, that's segment ac. And let's look at what we're working with here. We have one-half of db times ac. Well, db is a diagonal in the kite. And AC is another diagonal in the kite. So we could find the area of the kite by taking one half of diagonal one times diagonal two. And that's our formula. But we can also use this for other shapes because if we think back to our flow chart from sections 5.4 and 5.5 .5 when we worked with the various quadrilaterals, what other shapes are kites? A rhombus is a kite, and if we think all the way at the bottom, a square is also a kite. So you can also use the formula 1 half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 to find the area of a rhombus as well as a square. 